In this video, I'm going to introduce you to GNU Auto Tools. When compiling a large software project on Unix-like system, one usually has to manually write a makefile that contains every source files, header files, and the libraries used in this project. This process is tedious and error-prone. Auto Tools, or GNU Build System, is a suite of programming tools produced by the GNU project. These tools are designed to assist in making various source code packages portable to many Unix-like systems. This system includes tools such as AutoConf, AutoMake, and AutoHeader. Please let me begin my introduction with this sample norm project. This project will create a norm application called Hello World. As this project is using additional libraries, it will be the best example to show the features of Auto Tools. First, we'll need to create a new file called makefile.am. In this file, we specify the source files, the output binary files. We also specify additional header files and the libraries used in this project by setting up two variables in the first two lines. These variables will be set when running the shell script configure. Next, we run autoscan. Autoscan will generate a template file for our project. The template file is called configure.scan. We do need to add additional macros to initialize automake, specifying the additional libraries we are using and the position for the make file. Here is the complete configure.scan file. After saving this file, we need to rename it to be configure.ac. Now it's time to run auto header. Auto header will generate a template file called config.edge.in. Next, we run AC local, which will give us a local copy of all the macros that will be used in AutoConf program. Then we run AutoConf. AutoConf will generate the shell script configure from the file configure.ac. Then we can run AutoMake. AutoMake requires a number of text files. We can use AutoMake flag AC and a touch command to automatically generate the dummy files for those missing files. AutoMake will generate makefile.in from makefile.am. Now we can run shell script configure, which will check the environment and set up necessary variables. After that, we run make. This will build the executable for our project. Finally, it's time to check out our executable. Here is the application we just built. The make file that is generated also has other targets such as clean, install. In this video, I have shown you several features of auto tools by demonstrating how to use auto tools to build a simple norm application. Further references can be found here. Thank you for your watching.